What credit score would I give myself? I have a credit score. I think my credit score now is like six, 620, 640, which is really good. It used to be in the 500s last year when I had all my debt. That's still not good enough? I know, I know it's not good. It's like barely average. I've been hearing whispers about the legend of the level 99 in the first palace. <laughs> Who the hell been whispering about me? You're a madman? Oh, I'm just a, I'm just a, just a mortal man. But Chad, in your honest opinion, honest, true opinion, Rank my content, I'm sorry, rank my content compared to Corey Kinchin, Berlizzi, Afro Sinju, Caleb City, uh, RDC World. Basically all the top black creators. Where am I at? Where, where am I at? I don't know any of these motherfuckers. You don't know about Corey Kinchin and all them? What? You're number one because you're who I watch? That's nice. Berlizzi's goaded. Yeah, I want you to be honest. I don't want you to say that I'm the best just because I'm me. I want to see how where I can improve. You're in the middle? Ooh, that's pretty good. I like Caleb City a lot. Personally, I like you more than Corey. Shout out, shout out. It's cool to see like where I where I fit in. Nine out of 10, epic content, daily uploads, troll thumbnails. I do be on my clickbait thumbnail game though. Caleb, RDC, you, Keith Berlizzi. Damn, Swirly, you got me over. Oh, that's crazy. No cap, when it comes to stream out of everyone, you're the one I click first, but them skits, RDC and Caleb, bro. RDC skits are so fucking top tier. I think Caleb's are actually better. What about Heavenly Controller? <laughs> that nigga been getting meme like crazy. <laughs> You're mad better than Heavenly. <laughs> I only ever see negative shit about Heavenly. <laughs> Flight left. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll say this about uh. I'll say this about Heavenly. Y'all think it's weird that he's always like flexing? What do I mean? He's always like. Yeah, got some hot bitches with me again. Yeah, I'm simping over these hot girls. Yeah, my life is great. Yeah, I'm tall. I got muscles. And I'm fucking going crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. It's really weird. His content is fine. But just the personality is like weird. You'd flex if you had bitches? Who said I don't have bitches? You ain't flexing so you don't have any? You're actually right. You're actually 100% right. It's facts! It's facts! I'm not, throw I'm not throwing no cap. I'm not throwing any like bullshit to him. I don't want to meet somebody like like I said I don't know these people chat so like if someone pulls up to me and is like hey I heard you talking that shit I don't know them. I just see what I see on the internet you can flex your chat yeah my chat's dope I don't think that there's another chat maybe on twitch literally at all that has the appeal that that we do our chat is fucking sick I was thinking about how sick it is that you're out of pocket when you hit a thousand. You're like, I'm better than most of the motherfuckers streaming. The thing about it, Cal, it's really just like, you have to believe that. You know what I mean? If there's any, if there's anybody that, if you meet, like, I mean, chat, you guys know me. You guys know me in the sense that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flex. I really don't. I really don't. But I have to believe that I'm better. I have to. I have to believe that I can go to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't. I don't flex here. I'm always. I am genuinely very thankful for the for the stuff that I get in my life. Cause I could. It could have been nothing. It, I. You know. I could have nothing. But I owe it to myself to believe that I'm better. Exactly. Cause if I don't, then what's the point of what's the point of me doing this? At the end of it all, chat, I'm gonna be like Berlizzi mixed with Ludwig, mixed with Alfred, mixed with Mr. Beast, mixed with uh Saikuno, mixed with Pokey, mixed with like all these people that I that I saw coming up, mixed with Caleb, mixed with Supreme, mixed with all these people. And I feel like only I can do that. Am I eating again? Yeah. I used up a lot of energy. Tevin's dummy smart and brain takes calories. Fun fact, chat, I have a genius IQ. My IQ is 151. <clears throat> and I think genius is 140 still. What's 9 plus 10? 21. Stupid. Stupid. That's low. Humber, what's your IQ? <laughs> That's why you're immune to the 2D girls. That's funny. To get an IQ test for to see if you're a genius, you have to go to specific places to take them. I'm not sure where you can get them anymore, but I had my... I had my school, my senior year of high school, I had to take a IQ test. Back then I got a 140, I think I had a 146. And I took it again later in college and I got a 151. So I may be dumber now. I'm probably, I'm probably dumber. The thing about it is that smart people don't always just do smart things. I typically hear that intelligent people have no common sense. I didn't. Chat, I used to fucking, 
the dumbest shit I ever did, I put a I put a plastic tray of hot dogs in the oven and that shit melted the oven. And it wasn't even at my house, it was at my friend's because I'm stupid as fuck. You stupid. I used to microwave tin foil. I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was like 10. I couldn't tie my shoes until I was like six. I struggled with really early shit. I struggled with super early shit. My handwriting's terrible. But I like I learned to read at like three. I could learn I learned to read, multiply, divide. I had a college level educate I had a college level math and reading understanding by fifth grade. But I couldn't ride a bike. I used diapers till I was eleven. I don't know about all that. I think I was shitting okay. I was wearing Velcro in the sixth grade. Jeez Louise. Y'all some geniuses. When did I learn to breathe? That's pretty innate. You need to multiply some bitches. <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. I can read my own handwriting, but no one else can. When I was when when I was growing up, they taught me how to hold a pencil the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because like th they everyone thinks that you're right-handed when you're born, and then they were like, "Oh shit, he's left-handed." So I had to relearn everything, and it fell apart. So now neither hand is good at uh, writing. But I dribble with my right hand. My my dominant hand for dribbling is my right. My throwing hand is my right. I bat left. I shoot with my left hand. I throw darts. I throw darts with my left hand. I eat with my left hand. Which one do I use to masturbate? None of your goddamn business. What's my go-to approach when texting a girl? My go-to approach? Just to say, hey, and say something funny. I'll be like, yo, what's going on? I'm here again. Double texting you, because I'm not afraid to pull up. And she'll be like, ha ha ha, what are you doing? Lately, I've just like not wanted to talk to girls. Does that make sense to anybody? Whenever I talk to girls, I get bored or irritated, especially recently, because it's like you aren't you're not saying anything. I bet women feel this all the time about men because men don't really be saying shit. But lately for me, it's been women because like they're talking and I'm like, you're not you're you are not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. I'm leaving this fucking conversation right now. I'm not even going to respond to the text. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you're not saying shit, you're not being funny, you're not making me laugh, you're not making an approach, you're just talking. You're just talking! And you're not talking about anything interesting. You're just like, oh, you know, I'm a nurse. i like, oh, that's cool. Like, what got you wanting in to be a nurse? Like, what, what, what made you want to be a nurse? And they'll be like, oh, I just didn't know what to pick, and everyone said nursing would be good. Okay, thanks for giving me a ton to work with. Holy shit. But like girls that I do have good conversation with, we always just end up being like best friends. Just cause it just feels more natural that way. That's why you see like all those hot girl friends that I have. Cause I just get along with them so well that we just end up really close. And I'm not saying it's just me. I'm not saying it's just me with, uh, with women. Cause I, I almost, I almost guarantee you, I almost guarantee you it's worse for women talking to men. Cause we just be like, ah ha ha, that's crazy. So what are you doing? What are you doing later? We can watch. We can watch a movie. We can watch The Office at my house. Uh, ha ha. Fuck. Most 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 men don't know how to talk at all. And when I talk to like my friend, like my guy friends over uh over text, their text messages are like holy shit, bro. I'm like, how do how does any woman talk to you ever? I think just I think I just think pe some people are just terrible at texting. The normies. I think the normies and the locals are, are really bad. See, chat, you remember when I was telling you about uh, job interviews and they tell you about, like, what's your biggest weakness and people don't ever want to hear about your biggest weakness. They just want you to say a strength again. I feel like when people talk about toxic traits, when people talk about toxic traits, they never talk about an actual toxic trait that they have. They'll usually, the people are like, what's your toxic trait? And they're like, I love way too much and it gets me it, it gets me hurt in the long run and it's like bitch that's not a toxic trait the toxic trait is you lying you know what my actual toxic trait is sometimes i hate to lose and i'll bring people down with me that's an actual toxic trait i'm too competitive it's hard to lose for me it's hard to just say i'm not good enough i can't i can't admit i'll always say oh i'll just get it next time or i'll be better than you next week or da, da, da. it's hard for me to just say i'm not as good as you it took me a really long time to to even get to that point <laughs> sometimes i have a girl but i want to <laughs> what i hate saying i'm not good enough makes me feel like a piece of shit 
it bothers me. I don't like it. I don't like when people are better than me at things. And it sucks when other people get the attention. My toxic trait is that I'm built different. Yeah, there you go. I feel like people muddy toxic traits for flaws. That's very true. If you have pro, if you have a flaw, like you're just, you know, if you have anxiety or you're not good at this thing, a toxic trait is like when you are, when you do some shit that like fucks up the relationship. I lie a shit ton so I look better than I actually am. That was something that I had to come to grips with too. I used to lie all the time because I felt like my life wasn't good enough and that people wouldn't like me if I didn't have more interesting things to say. I tried too hard to get the last word in arguments. That's a toxic trait. See, that's not a flaw. That's like, you know, you're doing something, but yeah, it's hard. You always want to be that. You always want to have that thing, that power. You always want to have that, uh, that like dominating last sentence. You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes I avoid getting roasted sometimes, or sometimes I'll be like, uh, what is it? Like, you know, when you get roasted, like someone mildly roasts you, they'll be like, oh, that's why your hair look goofy. And then everyone laughs. And so you say something fucking mean in return. You'll be like, they'll be like, oh, that's why your, your hair looks goofy. And you're like, shut up, bitch. You know, I don't even love you. And you told me all your personal secrets in the third grade. And you're like, they'll be like, damn, bro. Like for real? Like, why'd you just do that? I feel like that happens all the time. And I've done that and that shit sucks because as soon as soon as you say it, you're like, fuck, man, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that, bro. That was mean as fuck. Why did I even say that? You just get caught in the moment. If they start bringing the heat, they better be good at taking it. But you got to understand the level. You got to understand the level of the roast. <clears throat> I feel like people hate me when they say something as a joke. Most of the time, it's not that big a deal. You can usually tell when somebody's about to say some some awful shit because they mean it. It's usually pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, like shit, I fucked up. You be like, damn, bro, you just exposed my secrets. What's my Cane's order? The box combo with it. no coleslaw. If you order coleslaw, no. I get an extra bread, no coleslaw, extra cane sauce, and a sweet tea with no, or no, a sweet tea with ice or a Coke with no ice. You ever thought about going vegan? Nah. I be, eat, I be eating the meat like it's my job. Coleslaw slaps? Oh no! Oh, oh brother, brother, this, this guy, guy stinks. stinks! People out there really eating coleslaw. People getting people get mad at me for talking about eating ass, but they're out there eating coleslaw. Huh? Who? Huh? What? What's coleslaw? It's like shitty ass cabbage and some kind of some kind of sauce. It's like tartar sauce or some bullshit. I don't know. It's gross though. <laughs> yeah, Fendi out there eating coleslaw and drinking Lacroix. <laughs> She's out there eating coleslaw and drinking LaCroix. Her taste buds all fucked up. She don't know what's going on. It's pronounced Cole's Law. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that.